We are live. Up early this morning for this game. How does the audio sound? Using a new mic for today's stream. Welcome, everybody. Yeah. Another day, another dollar. UAE against Iran. Very interesting dynamics going into this match. Very interesting stuff. Everyone drop me your score predictions. How does the audio sound, by the way, if you guys could let me know, as I said, using new mic. So I'm tired. This one's at 7 in the morning. Yeah, I saw. I saw Uzbekistan made it through. Good for them. Much deserved. They didn't lose to Australia. I knew that was going to be an interesting game for sure. So big ups to the Uzbeks. Ryan is going with a nice 4 0 win. Yeah, I just saw the lineup too. I think it's looking quite tasty, honestly. I think the lineup looks quite tasty. What are your, what's the other score predictions? Everyone drop them in. No way, what? 2 nil solid. At halftime, we could watch some of the highlights of the games. Guys, by the way, how does the audio sound? That's the one thing I was asking you guys. No one told me anything. Yeah, huge congrats to Uzbekistan. Hey, I, I have high praise for them. 1-1 one, one draw against Australia is a good result. I didn't look into it. I just saw it. But, yeah, that's a good result for them. So we're going 3-1, 2-0. The thing is, now it's the, the conversation of, is it better for Iran to finish in first or second? Uh, first or second, because of which side of the bracket they'll be in. Dude, UAE's kit's kind of nice, so Iran are yet to use their red kits. They've rarely worn those red kits, honestly. They don't want any flashbacks when they played against England, huh? That's my only guess. Make sure, guys, by the way, like the video. I had to wake up at 6 in the morning for this. This is early for me. Obviously, I'll wake up for all the Iran games. But, yeah, smash the like button for your boy. Smash, please. I'm, I was, it was a little tired. I had to go to bed early. But, you know, we, we do what we have to do for you guys. Thank you. Okay, good. Yeah, but I think it's okay with the quick turnaround. I don't think it's a bad thing to bench him. Like, I like the lineup. Do you guys want me to quickly put that up for a second? The starting XI. Hmm, let me see if I can get it. One minute. Because I know uh, Gold Bazan has, like, the best graphic for it, for the lineup. I'll tell you guys what I like and what I don't like. Sorry, I'm reading your guys' comments too. 
Will be Hodge Suffy's last turn with the team. Yeah, I would assume so too. Iran can honestly beat any team. My only uh, worry was Japan, but even now they looking kind of mid. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, we looking kind of mid too. So that's what kind of worries me. I mean, I like the okay. I need to pull it up so I can show you guys what I would prefer us to do. One sec, I'm pulling it up, so you guys got to bear with me. Uh, Golbazan. So, okay, here you go. So let's share this tab. So this is the starting 11. I'll go mini for it, so it'll be easier. So I like... I like the two strikers. Gaidi's been the best player at the tournament, so obviously you can't drop him. I like Golizad. I like this midfield. I don't like this. I like this. I would prefer to have Ramin, Rezaian, and Mohorami as the outside backs with Khalilzad and Majid Hosseini. Obviously, I don't care about the goalkeeping situation right now, but in the future, it needs to be not Baramba. But outside that, this is pretty good. I don't think I'm realistically ever going to get that perfect lineup I've always wanted. But that's my take. I don't know if you guys agree with me or disagree with me here. But that's just my take. A lot of UAE fans. Oh, we have some Saudi Arabia fans too. I would personally go with Hosseini, but I don't even mind Niels Mand either. I'm indifferent. I'm cool with either of them. But I know that's a very uh, interesting talk about the Niazman, Hosseini, like, uh, yeah, Hosseini stuff. So you guys let me know. Thoughts on Hong Kong versus Palestine. Isn't that game on at the same time? Both games are on at the same time, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, I mean, if uh, if Palestine get like a good result, like a win, I think they go through pretty much as like a third place team. Yeah, I mean, Niazman, I think is younger. I think maybe by like a year or two, so it makes sense. Rezaion, right as he's good with crosses, attacking overall. Yeah, I mean, I think I'd like to see the whole Mohorami on one side and Rezaion on the other because they're truly our best outside backs. If we ever play five in the back, I know Said Monash has played left wing back for whole city, so we could try that on it. Like, we, that's not a bad idea. I don't know what you guys think, but I think it's a good show. Don't forget, guys, dropping your guys' score predictions for the match, too, by the way. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, too. And someone can play left back, but I think that would be a waste of his talents if we did do that, to be fair. I don't think that would be a good call if we put someone as our left back. But that's my take, anyway. All right, guys, we're kicking off. This is it. Paulo Bento, former South Korea head coach, I believe. All 
All right, this is it. Countdown. All right, let's see what happens. It's game on, folks. The game is on. It's a little cold here. Yeah, I know. I agree. What happened to Jalali? I would also as well maybe play Jalali at left back. I liked him at the World Cup. He was our youngest player. He now has World Cup experience. I think World Cup experience is very important. I think it's something that we should consider, in my opinion. I think it's something that should play a factor in things. And that's why I maybe write Hosseini a little bit more than Niels Mann, even though Niels Mann is younger, so I am still cool with it. But, you know, ha having a clean sheet in the World Cup, I think, is huge. I think it's very big. Do you think Iranians will get moves in the winter after the Asian Cup? Maybe Asmoon, depending on what Darasi tells him when he gets back, because I know Sevilla were heavily linked to him. Maybe he goes back to Leverkusen, depending on how far we how far we go and how far like Nigeria goes because of Bonnie Face. Yeah, I agree. Parham is saying two Iran, one UAE. I think I'm gonna go with that too. I think my prediction is gonna be two to one as well. Which friendly is we talking about, Parsa? Oh, wow. Great start. Wow. Already off to a great start. You're wrong corner. Good stuff, guys. Goalies are the already looking really solid. It's a really strong start so far for Iran. Holy shit. That was actually a really good cross. He barely misses the header. Okay, so now it looks like we've learned from our mistakes in this game. Okay, okay. The really strong start from Iran. Don't shoot it. And Hodge Safi blazes it way wide. Goalkeeper was way off his line. He could have made it near post, in my opinion. Yeah, interesting stuff. Yeah, it won't wither out. Yeah. The stam, the Kubi de stamina doesn't kick in. It doesn't last. It wears off. I know Hudge Suffy thinks he's Cheshmi. Thank God we're not starting guys like Cheshmi in this game. I am interested to see how does the Mehdi Sardar combo do up top. Because obviously that's our like not gonna lie, that's our big firepower. That's like our trump card. So hopefully it does well. Strong start. I mean, we're just suffocating UAE, but we did lose the ball, and now they're on the counter. Oh, it's kind of stadium's a little empty, huh? Oh, that was a really bad cross. Fantastic. You're honest, starting amazing. Honestly, this is what I wanted to see. Golizade already making key. I mean, Golizade, I think Golizade would have started this tournament sooner. The winger situation is interesting, especially with Gaia D now playing really well. Like, it adds an interesting wrinkle to the mix. Because, honestly, I think Jalan Bash and Golizad, they should have been the shoe and wingers. But since Golizad, we have to all admit, Golizad has been Iran's... I mean, sorry, Gaia D has been Iran's best player in this tournament. He's kind of indroppable. You know, you got if he's going to keep scoring, you got to keep starting him, you know? So... Jambash kind of odd man out. Obviously, last game played as the captain, but like he got it as well. Olizate was Iran's best player at the World Cup, and he's just coming back from injury, so I understand maybe not playing him early on. But uh, he was Iran's best player at the World Cup by a country mile, in my opinion. So you got to start getting him back into the fold of things. We haven't seen him much under Kalenoi. What do you guys think of UAE's kits? I think they look really nice. Yeah, India is out. India is out. It's a, it's upsetting, but you know it is what it is.
Yeah, I yeah, Mohebi. I mean, but thing is, every time Mohebi has come on, he hasn't played well. That's the thing. He's kind of dropped a he kind of dropped a stinker in that first game when he came in because he had plenty of opportunities, but yeah, he didn't play well. Obviously, at halftime, we'll go on Wiki and look at. We'll look at. Wow, there's a lot of Iranians in the stands, though. I like to see that. At, at halftime, we'll look at some like the results and stuff uh, on Wiki. So we'll do that for sure. I mean, I saw that. Uh, I saw that uh, Australia and Uzbekistan ended one to one. Syria beat India one nil. I mean, India. Not gonna lie, for all their huffing and puffing, sadly they didn't. Yeah, dude, it was close between. I mean, Syria for sure gonna be one of the better third place teams, which is great. But that's where I was kind of maybe thinking India could maybe do something, but it didn't happen for happen for them. They didn't. I don't think they even. No, they scored one goal, didn't they? One goal. Good performance from Uzbekistan. I'm not really surprised. Oh, no, don't get me wrong, Magnus. I'm not underestimating UAE at all, bro. I didn't underestimate them even in the video, too, if you watched my review. So that the proof's in the pudding. I don't underestimate UAE. I don't underestimate any team with this Iran team, honestly. Okay, that should have been a goal. It went right to Asmund's noggin. That's like three really good crosses to start this game. Goes right on Asmund's noggin. That should have at least been on target. I'm not saying, okay, maybe not a goal, but. Iran Iranians bought all of the tickets for the 2019 Asian Cup final and lost in the semifinals to Japan. Did we really? We were that confident we were going to beat Japan? Why is there Iraq fans in this game? Just so random. There's just a bunch of Iraq fans. The problem is if a team becomes overconfident, they are done. It's true. It's totally true. I agree. I think this time is the same thing. What's for? Oh, like you think Iranians are getting overconfident. We'll go to the final. I hope not. I don't think that should be the ex. Like, I don't, I mean, it should be the expectation, but I just don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, dude, I really like this UAE kit. I mean, to be fair, I like Iran's kit too. This is a really, like, not bad. It's a decent, like, knockoff, this Iran shirt. My girlfriend got it for me. Because it has number 18, but, like, Jahan Bashk is number 7. Right now, Qayyadi's number 18, and it has Jahan Bashk on the back. Obviously, Jahan Bashk used to be 18, but not in this kit. So I think it's funny. But I'll wear it throughout this tournament. It was good luck. I wore this for the Palestine game, so maybe we get those same vibes, you know? Dude, why is Hutch Safi shooting it? Who who does he think he is? He keeps shooting it from like twenty five yards out, thinking he's gonna score a Puskas goal. Like, what the what the heck? There's a lot of Iranian uh, females in the stands. You love to see it. I know, I know, bro. It's killing me. I do. I know as much as people. They don't rate Iran's kit. I like the simplicity. I like how it's just a simple white or simple red with the. Whoops. I'm sorry, microphone. Oh my god, I did it twice. I'm sorry, microphone. I'm sorry. And the simple cheetah pattern on the sleeves. I think it's cool. I think it's dope. I don't know what you guys think, but I think it's cool. Let's see if I can move this over slightly. There you go. Bro thinks he has has a power shot plus like of oh, the FIFA attribute card. Oh, oh, and the goalkeeper spilt it again. 
What is the best version of Iran since two? Are you asking me this? Like, this is a question. Like, what's the best team? I mean, I would probably say one of our best teams is probably 2019 is up there. 2019 slash 2022 World Cup. I mean, our best performance, in my opinion, was at the 2018 World Cup. So maybe that team. But in regards to, like, players in the biggest, best form, I honestly, was in 2022. I think we had a lot of top-level players at that time. That's the thing. I don't think we've really had that much of a well spread of players playing at such high levels, but obviously our best performance is 2018 and 2019 Asia cup was our, one of our best runs since winning it. I mean, the only goals we conceded was in that game, a semifinal match against uh, Japan. Oh shit. Yo, Mike fave YouTube. Welcome to the live boss man. There's a lot of concepts for Iran's kits, but the, but this trash of a kit that Iran, that the Federation selected is just, let's not talk about it. I mean, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. Did it finish the game? No, dude. The game, look, we got the time right on the side here. Dude, Magnus, don't bring us these things up. I'm going to remove your comment immediately. Oh, my God. That was a good cross that Goliza did. Yeah, that was a good cross. Yes, Mike, I am Iranian. I'd hope the man wearing the Iran jersey. That's light-skinned with the Ali Reza jersey behind him. I, I'd hope he's Iran. I'm just being sarcastic, but yes, I am Iranian. Welcome to the live, Mike. I know this UAE goalkeeper is kind of, he's kind of sus as they would say in Among Us. Speaking of Among Us, we haven't played that in so long. Do you think we should do like an Iranian Among Us? I got recently added to it, Iranian Discord. Uh, yeah, don't forget the Iranian beard, bro. Come on. An Iranian Among Us. Imagine if I recorded that. Palestine scored? Holy macaroni. We'll check out their goals at halftime too. Yeah, I think the commentators just said it. Yeah, they just said they scored. I hope Palestine go through. Obviously, I think in our instance, too, when we were at the World Cup, I, I mean, I, I think a lot of neutrals wanted to see us do decently well for what was going on. But it was weird because our, our own fans didn't want to see us do well. Sorry for the slight change in color. It's automatic on the MacBook when it goes from uh, dark to daylight. So officially, the sun should be rising right now is what that indicates. So I do apologize for that little lag right there. I know, seriously, let's go Palestine. Bro, if we lose, I mean, losing isn't the worst. In this instance, it's not the worst thing in the world. I don't think it's the most ideal thing either. But, you know, there's some interesting dynamics if Iran wins or loses. I don't know what the game plan is. I would have just assumed they're going to go into this game to win. And that's fair. And I think that's the most logical reason. Yeah, I think Mehdi really needs a goal in this tournament. I don't know if it's just me, guys, but Mehdi really needs a goal in this tournament. Best Darby? Probably Iran, Iraq. I mean, obviously, I'm going to be biased. I mean, most power-heavy one would probably be South Korea, Japan. What would be my reaction? Well, we'll be live for that final, so you'll find out. I'd probably start crying on a camera, which I don't know. For me, it'd be embarrassing, but that's probably my honest reaction. I would love to see Iran win the Asia Cup. Like, let's keep 100. Like, even making the final, I'd be emotional. I think it'd mean the world to me to see us win it. I don't think it'll happen, though, but I'll definitely get emotional.
Dang, UAE just built from the back pretty well. But Khalilzad, there was a good tackle. Okay. That's why I like Khalilzad. I think he's okay. Don't get me wrong. I don't think he's still our best center back. But between him and Kanani, I trust Khalilzad a lot more. For sure. No questions. I don't know. You got people seem to rate uh, count on you. I don't know if you guys agree with that or disagree with that. I mean, he's technically the captain. I mean, he's also still a really good player in the Greek League. You can't deny that. That's the thing. I don't think he's a good... I think he'd be better as, like, a DM with Ezra Talahi. Like, I would maybe play Hajj Safi, Ezra Talahi, Sabat. That's how I would do it. Oh. I don't think it's a bad shout either. Once Iran loses, uh, will you still continue to watch? Yeah, of course. I'll still watch. I still watch the World Cup after Iran lost. I'll still do watch-alongs, too, for some of the games. Don't you guys worry. Oh, we almost scored, but we didn't. Well, nope, that should have probably been a goal, guys. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was an open net, bro. Dude, their goalkeeper is so bad. UAE's. I wouldn't be surprised for the Palestine game with their goal. Yeah, I know. Seriously. How? But at least, again, we're starting off strong. We just can't finish, which is kind of surprising. We need that D magic. Oh. Oh, my God. I'm not going to lie. If that was a little bit to the right or to the left, D might have actually just scored from that shot cross he just had. No, I don't think the momentum's withering. I think we're, we still got it. I think after we score a goal, the momentum might wither. Yeah, seriously, this is a lot better than the Hong Kong game. You guys don't understand. That's a great cross. Uh, maybe not that great, but I mean, I don't know. I got a little too excited. Oh, as it's a lot, he got. Oh, shite. That was not bad. I cannot show the match. I can't, I will get copyrighted and stream will be taken down. Dude, we need Qayyad magic. <laughs> Seriously, I've been watching this generation since I was a kid. Uh, as a kid, I've seen so many tragic tournaments. I just hope they win this one. I get, dude, I, I can't imagine being old. Like The thing is, I feel like I've aged 50 years just watching Iran and 2014 World Cup, 2015 Asia Cup, 2018 World Cup, 2019 Asia Cup. Now, this is my third cycle. So I feel like I've aged like a thousand years, but, you know, luckily we're still here. We're still kicking it. I would love to see us win it too. I just got to be realistic. Like I'm always, I try to take emotion aside. I try not to be biased. What do you guys think about the new mic, too, by the way? This is an expensive mic. This is $500.
My dad's uncle's cousin bought it for me for Christmas. Oh, handball? Uh, oh, it was offsides anyway. Let's see. Yeah, he's super far offside, so it wouldn't have counted. Yeah, he's offside, so they can't call that handball. But it is definitely a hand. Oh, yeah, I think it might be a handball. Either way. Really? That's pretty cool, Mike. You're happy if we lose Parsa? No, Parsa. I mean, again, I'm indifferent. I'm not going to be happy, sad. We'll just see how it pans out. I'm not going to do any of this prediction stuff, so... Oh, they're checking for a possible penalty. I'm a little surprised. I thought you said it was offsides, though. Well, yeah, it definitely hits his hand. That's not a question, but, like... What's going on? I thought you said you called this offside. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. He called him offside. That was a bit weird. All right, we continue. We have to forge our own chances. We're not going to use Paremi tactics. We're going to win with a... Hard fought Kubi de goal, okay? I want to see his head that shit in like we're eating some Kubi de on this shit, okay? Isn't it better if Iran finishes in second place? Uh, I that's we'll again we'll go we'll go into this at halftime, guys. I think so. That's what the chat was saying last live. So we'll see if that's the case. We shall find out. <sighs> Apologies for the yawning. This is early for me. I had to wake up at 6 a.m. Obviously not as bad as the Iraq-Japan game that was at 3 a.m., but I didn't wake up for that because I'm not crazy. Uh, it went out of bounds. Dude, come on, man. Yeah, Golizad is looking good so far. Iran's luck is the worst thing you can uh, see ever in World Cup from 2015 to 2018 World uh, Asian Cup, 2019 Asia Cup. I know. I know. I get it, Parsa. I know. Been through all of it. I was at the 2022 World Cup as well. It wasn't fun. But I think if we want to win the tournament, you should expect to face big teams. That's true, too. That's very valid. You got to beat anyone in sight. Oh, my God. It was almost a goal there. Mehdi almost flicks it over. Oh, macaroni. What time is it over there? It's 7.24 a.m. If we score, I'll join back. Mike, don't just leave us like that. I know. Imagine if that went in. So close. Mehdi wants to finally get that goal. He needs that goal. Get Mehdi the goal. Damn, again, it was a pretty decent corner. Just no one got their head to it. Oh, dude, Mehdi Khaidi got absolutely, oh, Jesus, Khaidi just got sent back to Tesco's with that shoulder to shoulder. That's funny, that, Khaliazad did, uh, got lucky not to have gone to yellow for that, holy shite.
Checking for possible penalty? Another one? Another one. That's crazy. Oh, no. Complete. Okay. But what was it for? The thing is, with the Asmoon Taremi link up, you would hope that frees up opportunities for like Golizade, Gaeti, like that they could do something, you know? Nice. Mehdi! Mehdi with his first goal of the tournament. Mehdi Taremi, welcome to the Asian Cup, baby. The link up. Asmun. Taremi. Goal. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Happy he's finally on the board. Yes, guys. Let's go. There's Taremi's in the chat. Mehdi. Mehdi. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. The good link up. That's the stuff we want to see. Just a nice first time flick. That's what matey has been missing this tournament. Poor guy's been working on fumes out there. Happy he finally got on the board before the knockout rounds. Goal, Taremi. Goal, goal, Taremi. Yes, Taremi. Yeah, good stuff. Good, good, good. Happy we finally got a goal here. I'm see, I'm back. I'm see, dude, Mike. You should have just never left, bro. You should have just never left. You should have just stayed. Yeah, it was a good golizade to Asmun to make the goal, 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 goal. The combo we don't deserve. No, do we deserve this combo? CR seven. What happened, man? The knockout draw of the Asian Cup is so bad. The hosts get to the semis without even facing a big team. And bad teams like Vietnam, China go to the uh, quarters. And good teams like Iraq get out in the round of 16. It was behind. Yeah, that it, it's it do be like that sometimes. As I said, the tournament bracket for the knockout rounds is just so messed up. As I said, I'm not going to worry about it. Till we get to that point, obviously I'll do a video talking about my knockout round predictions. So and that's going to be a Thursday after the, all the games wrap up. The Iranian fans, I see them. I see them in their little section in the stadium. Oh, what a clearance. Get it out, get it out, get it out. Dude, why are we have two people side tackling like that? Chill. Now, why are we playing defense like a bunch of like idiots? Okay, good job. Uh, by the way, dono three straight streams. We've had at least one dono. Can we keep a donation chain going? Is that what I'm feeling for the Mehdi goal? But yeah, shout out to Bardia. For donating per usual. This guy's an absolute superstar. I'm going to donate till we are out till we are out. Go Iran. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much for always being a part of the streams. I agree. What a masterclass assist from Asmoon. 1000 vision. No. No, no, no. We're going to leave the dono up because he deserves it. What an absolute superstar for donating. Why can't we show the game? Because of copyright. The stream will be taken down if we play the game. This is not a friendly in the back streets of Iran. This is the Asian Cup. It would get copyrighted. Oh, they're replaying the goal. I'm just happy Mehdi... Mehdi got a goal before the knockout rounds because he hadn't scored. And as I said in the first stream for the game against Palestine, I thought it was important for him and Asmund to just get a goal, uh, get a goal in this tournament. Okay, what are we donating and how? How you donate? I think you just click somewhere in the bottom, like Super Chat, I think is what it's called. You're donating to the stream. 
and you can ask whatever question you want in the donation. UAE fans will beat Iran 3-0, logical. To be fair, I think some of us were saying we would beat them 3-0. I'm telling you guys, this UAE kit, though, I quite like it. I like the black with the like the, the, the darker green. I think it looks nice. But we haven't worn our red jersey throughout this tournament, which is interesting to me, which scares me if we do wear it now in the round of 16 or any knockout game because it might be cursed. Because we only wore this red kit once against England in the World Cup, and obviously we got absolute cream pie in that game. Don't even want to think about it. Okay, good work there by Koli Zadeng Gaidi, and that's a free kick. Yellow card, maybe? That's why I got this number 18 Gaidi kit. I'm just kidding. It's not Gaidi. A little bit of a dive, but hey. We love you for loving Iran. Oh, wow. Very dressed up the Iranian women for this game. All right. Free kick. Will we score? Good corner. Oh, my. God damn. Khalilzadeh messed up. Oh, what a freaking fake shot there. Oh, what a cross. That almost fell perfectly for Golizade, but Khalilzadeh got in his way, bro. It almost fell perfectly. Man. Oh, we can't have good things. It almost fell perfectly for him. What's up, Jack? Welcome to the stream. Just enjoying our quality early, early morning Asian Cup football. Khalizada should have just let Golizada do his thing. Parham, it's your first stream, bro. Welcome. We're doing these for every single one of Iran's games. Yeah, it's it was pretty early. I had to wake it wake up at six a.m. for this game, so. But you know, it is what it is. Cross. Golizade. Nice. Now he's on the board too. There you go. That's our man right there. Golizade. Iran's best player at the World Cup. Instantly, as soon as he has played, his this is his first start in this tournament. He has made a big difference for this team. Good stuff, Golizade. Iran have played so much better in this match. So much better than the match against Hong Kong. Oh, he might be off sides. I think they should give him the benefit of the doubt and count the goal. You think it's it's offsides, yeah. I think it's gonna be called back. We'll wait till they confirm it. They're checking the goal, which I think it's dumb. I think you should give him the benefit of the doubt because I think he was technically on sides. Oh, dude, that's criminal. The goalkeeper's such a mug, bro. Let's see. Let's see if they give the goal or not. We'll celebrate once everything's confirmed. Let's wait. Let's wait. Let's wait. Come on. Referee, give us give us the goal. Just give it to us. Give us the goal. Come on, ref. God damn it. It's offsides. No, no, yeah. But yeah, Jack, the eight-hour time difference does kill you. Yeah, it's offsides. Daniel, welcome. I can't watch the game or stream because I'm busy. Hope you're on win, though. Shout out to Daniel. That's two donos. Who wants to be the third dono for the stream? Third donation? Okay, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. We don't know if and when we'll play Japan. But yes, I think it would be the worst. Yeah, 
Yeah, that sucks. Ivory Coast got two disallowed goals yesterday and lost 4-0. Damn, that's upsetting. Well, that was definitely a lifeline. I definitely would have liked to have seen Golizada score. It was a good header, too, from nice diving at her. Iconic. Good touch. Okay, that was not bad. Dude, the play is pretty good. Yeah, so it looks like that's going to be a done deal. I wouldn't be surprised if after the Asia Cup, we get confirmation on that. It's pretty much a done deal, though, in principle, which I'm happy about. Compare uh, In regards to, I'd rather him gone to Inter Milan than AC Milan. But if I had my choice, I wanted him to go to the Premier League. That's where I wanted him to go. Equatorial Guinea. Oh, here's how offsides he was. Dude, he was offsides by a kneecap. A kneecap. The, the tippy top of his knee. This part is the only reason he was offside. This little bit that I'm touching. They just showed that offsides. That's bullshit, bro. This that goal should have counted. That goal should have counted. That's that's stupid. That's so stupid. <sighs> whatever, whatever. But Daniel, I know you couldn't hop in the stream. Shout out to you for always being here donating. Guys, be like these two and drop a dono for your boy. I'd appreciate it. No, I don't think so. I don't think you're going to buy him and pay him a good wage just to bench him. I think he's going to play with Lotaro. I think he's the Turam long-term replacement. Not long-term, but... AFCON or Asian Cup? Dude, come on, man. I feel like it's an obvious answer here. Asian Cup. Come on. Come on. Asian Cup clear. Asian Cup clear of CONCACAF. Asian Cup clear of Copa America. Asian Cup clear of Euros. It's clear of everything. Parham lives in Iran. Shout out to you for being here. Which city are we talking? Uh, I just joined. The goal was disallowed. Yeah, it was. It was upsetting by his literal little smidgy kneecap. It was pretty stupid, but, you know, it is what it is. But, yeah, we've Iran is kind of like neutralized UAE in this game. UAE have not really done as much as I thought they would. Like, I thought UAE were going to come out a little bit more swinging. Granted, there's still, like, a whole second half, still the remainder of this half and a whole second half, but. I know, if Iran uh, had this type of form against Hong Kong, it, yeah, it would have been a waxing sesh. Oh, we have a UAE fan in the chat. UAE, hey, shout out to you guys. I like your national team a lot. Yeah, I just saw Jesus Ferreira's goal. I didn't bother. I mean, I, since when are like friendlies in MLS this glamorized? Like, okay, cool, Messi played Suarez. Like, the fact MLS is like posting like the close goals between Messi and Suarez and stuff is just pathetic, in my opinion. Like, come on. You guys are obviously trying to milk views. Parham is from Tehran. Shout out to Tehran, one of the best cities out there in the world. Corner? Okay, cool. We talked about it before the game on what I would change with the lineup. It's good. There are a few tweaks I would make, though. I don't think it's a perfect lineup. Yeah, Parsa, my friends are telling me about that. Like, he, he complained to them about how they can't do that anymore. Esfahan. Magnus knows. No. Oh, Magnus, you're from Esfahan. That's cool. 
Corner. Oh, it was another good corner by Hodge Suffy, just no one connected. Julian, welcome to the stream, bro. Welcome. How did UAE come uh, this far in the Asian Cup? What do you mean this far? They're guaranteed three games. It's the group stage. Matt, welcome to the stream. Welcome, Matt. We got a lot of people starting to hop in now. Everyone's waking up like me. The sun should finally be rising soon here. It's still dark outside. Mohorami, definitely been a lot better than Rezaion so far in this tournament. And the thing is, Rezaion is... Oh, that was a bad tackle as I sang that. But... I don't remember what I was going to say. Oh, well. Money can't buy a good national team. Saudi Arabia have entered the chat. The sun never sets in Iran. That's fair. Well, I'm not living in Iran. You've been tempted? We've been keeping up. We know Palestine's winning. It's big stuff. I mean, with that goal, it looks like they could go through. Glad to see Mehdi scored. I agree. Where is Jahan Bash this game? No, just rotation. Just switching it up. Trying something different. Giving Goli Zade some minutes in this game. <laughs> 1.5 billion people. Zero points. 39-year-old striker. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't great by India. Especially their fans were coming at me and other creators about them at this tournament, which they didn't end up doing much in with. First time you ever hopped in one of my streams? Well, bro, we're doing lives throughout the Asian Cup, mainly for Iran, but for the big games too, we'll be going live for those as well. So that will be fun. Holy shit, is Morami hurt? Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. It is. It's like knee to knee. Oh, no, this doesn't look good. Please don't tell me Morami's hurt. Did I just jinx him? No, it's sub. Oh, no. No. Oh, my God. Three people are saying change. No, 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 no. I hope it's not like an ACL or something. I really hope that's not the case here. No, that looks so bad. Mohorami, no. So that means Rami and Rezaion's coming on. God damn it, bro. As I was saying, Mohorami's been so much better than him in this tournament. That injury doesn't look... I hope it's just nothing serious, though. Because he's been having a good season with Dinamo. No, it's not over for Iran. It's just not ideal. No, Ramin is not better than Moharami. I No, stop. That's where the line is drawn. Damn, I really hope it's not serious. I really, really hope. Yeah, seriously, Matoma about to kill us. Okay, well, we got to also stop talking about Japan like we're going to play them right now. We aren't playing Japan yet. Yeah, the Yusufi call-up doesn't look that bad now. How many first-team players are playing? For Iran? All of them? Oh, 
All right, Rami and Rezayana is on. I hope it's not serious, bro. I we need Mohorami, bro. And the thing is, too, he's having such a good year under with Dinamo. He's kind of he's rotated. Mehdi has started all three games, though. There's a few players that have started all three. There's I think Kadani has started all three. Baramont started all three. Salman started all three. Mehdi has started all three. And Gaidi has started. So there's five players that have started all three games. Dude, I hope, man. Are, are you going to be the doctor to examine him? Because I need to know ASAP if he's going to be okay. Mohorami is... Thing is, too, I just ordered a Mohorami Dinamo Zagreb kit off their website, and it should be arriving tomorrow. That's the crazy part. That's the crazy part. I got the... If you guys want to look it up, it's that all-black Dinamo Zagreb kit. It's the all-black one. I thought that kit was so sick. Who's the best? Who's your best player? Number 14 in the midfield, Saman Godus. Apparently, Pedro is in Seattle. Oh, is he? Yeah, I think he's supposed to arrive today. So, yeah, we'll see. And it's so weird. I don't like how we were talking about him before he was even announced, like on the, like, inner, like, it was weird. This that whole transfer saga was so weird to me. Do you think Guy D will get a bigger club? No, dude, Guy D just doesn't have any ambition. That's the problem. He's not an ambitious guy. Dude, my guy's playing, what, in the UAE League? Like, come on, man. Like, I don't know. I'm happy Mate D scored too. I'm happy about that. I have a World Cup. I have one too. It's over here in this corner. It's over here with the Japan... Because I got that from the Japanese fans when I was at the Japan Germany game. I, I put that little headband on him. What's the nicest Iranian player's kit that you have? Like, what do you mean? Like, that was given to me by the player or like that I've bought? Like, like, in regards to like their club team or like a national? I only have two Iranian national team kits the 2018 home and 2018 away with. John Bashk on the home with the match details. It says Mor under the badge. It says Morocco versus Iran. And then on the red one, the away one with Ezra Talahi, it has Spain versus Iran. But this one was given to me by John Bashk and it's signed. So it's my most prized possession. Pedro De La Vega, he's the Seattle Sounders new signing. Seattle Sounders is my local club. By winning, Iran is giving Palestine a chance of going through, like, as second place or third place. What are we talking here? Any given or bond club or not. I mean, Salman Godus gave me a shirt. I have a match-worn Salman Godus shirt in the from the Carabao Cup game versus Chelsea from like a few years ago. I have a Mohorami Dinamo Zagreb match worn and signed shirt that I got off bid on match worn shirts. I won that on bid. And then Jahan Bash's kit. And then two Steven Beta short kits as well. Are you looking forward to the uh to the fourth of February schedule and venues for the 2026? Yeah, I uh, I'm excited about that to see for my city anyway which games we'll be getting. Yeah, I do too, man. That's it's funny you bring that up because I want one too. I want to buy a Fulham Dejaga kit, but who the fuck is selling those? Who's got one of those that's willing to sell? I've tried so hard to find one. Thing is, it's like I'm not even not finding them just like in my size. I just can't find any. 
nobody's got one. Not even a replica of it. That's what's annoying. What is your favorite football team in UAE? The one that IAD plays for. The offsides, bro. I know. It was pain. It was straight pain. Really? That long ago. I wasn't even born in 96. Okay, so Palestine could finish that. Is, is it a matter of Iran scoring more goals on UAE? Is that all it needs to happen? I hope Palestine finished second. So that should motivate us to score more goals. Persian commentator. Paolo Bento has the iPhone mini. Is, is this any importance? No, it's not. Score predictions for Iran versus UAE. What do you mean score predictions? The game's already happening. What are we going to predict? It's already halfway through. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Japan and South Korea. Okay, we hit halftime. Both like having really shit results for South Korea needed a last minute penalty to beat Jordan and Japan losing to Iraq. Granted, Iraq's a good side. Uh, I think that's crazy. Jack, you met Cole Palmer? Dude, did you get a photo with him at a Nando's? Do you live in London? That's crazy. The, there was a Nando's right where I near where I was staying at when I I live I was staying somewhere in like Fulham, London, like in the if they called it the posh nice area. I didn't think it was that nice, but maybe my standards might be too high. I don't know. But that's cool. Did you get a photo of them? Yeah, goal difference. That's good. Goal difference, mates. Iran needs to win like two or three nil, and then Palestine should win like two nil. Is it still one nil? Why were you sad when Portugal got knocked out? Yeah, wiki time, wiki time. Magnus knows, wiki time. All right, let's go over to Wikipedia. Wiki time. Okay. Asian Cup wiki. Here you go. All right, let's share this tab. Okay. So I can't see my screen while doing this, so you guys are going to have to bear with me. So here are the groups. Let me also blow up. One sec. Let me also blow up the screen for you all. Uh, let's go like this. That's better. Okay, guys. So if Palestine outscore UAE's goal difference, we should get Tajikistan. Okay, that's kind of an embarrassing round of 16 game. Oh, interesting. Yeah, good performance in the first half by Iran for sure. Good performance. I appreciate that, Danny. This is very kind words. I don't think I'm the voice of the Iranian national team. Obviously, we have people like Arya from Golbazan or Art from Team LE Talk, but I try to just use my, add my own twist to it, you know? Iran are the group stage destroyers for sure. Okay, let's talk about the the stuff. So Uzbe Australia first, Uzbekistan second. I mean, if Uzbekistan pulled up some upset and beat Australia, they almost could have. So this is how the group's looking like. Wait, what? Oh, it's because it's not updated, huh? It's not updated. What does X mean? X guaranteed at least a top three. Oh, okay. Okay, let's see how things are looking so far. Rip Malaysia. Yeah, the thing is, too, dude, South Korea could finish in third in this group if things go south in the game. Ah, oh, they are playing Malaysia. I mean, if this game ends in a draw, which it realistically could, Jordan against Bahrain, and Japan, sorry, South Korea win, they finish top. I can't believe Thailand's most likely going to be the one that gets second in this group. If Oman do not go through and I put them as my dark horse, I'm going to be upset. Syria is the best third place team, Bahrain. Okay, if things stand, this is one side of the bracket. 
That is one side of the bracket. Where do I live? The good old UA USA, baby. USA. Weird question. Tajikistan is Iran's second team if we look to it from a cultural side, yes. It is Wikipedia, Ryan. Wikipedia. Uh, do we verse the second place team? That's what I'm gonna where that's what I'm gonna look. So give me a second. So Oh, wait. So we are in group. Which group are we in? We're in group C. Okay. Sorry, this is going to go a little fast. So we're in group C. So we would either play, if we wanted to throw the game against UAE, we either will play Tajikistan. Oh, my God. I messed it up. I'm sorry. I pressed something. Or Syria. Low-key Tajikistan would be such an easier opponent. Because then think about it. Third place of E slash F. Oh, man. We would have such an easier path if we don't win this game. Because we would play Syria. Are we Group C? Yeah, we are Group C. Yeah. Who's Group E? Oh, my God. The whole thing just pooped. Pooped out. Nothing's loading now. Group E. Oh, so South Korea and then Japan's in group D. Where does Japan go? Runner up of group dude. We could possibly have Japan versus South Korea in the round of 16. Stop doing this wiki. That means, ah, oh, dude, I'm sorry, but, like, Iran does have such an easier... I would take playing Iraq over... Oh, man, that's stupid. Yeah, because we would have such an easy opponent in Tajikistan. No offense to, to, to Tajikistan, but it would be a very easy opponent. Most likely, it's Iraq. Iraq versus Iran. Granted, that's still a tough... I think Syria, though, even in the round of 16, is going to be a tough game for us. Uh, yeah, if we throw the game against... The thing is, UAE is UAE versus Tajikistan or Palestine versus Tajikistan is a round of 16 game. Iraq has such an easy path to the semifinals because all the tough teams are going to be on this side of the bracket. And same with Australia. Winner of Group F. So most, most likely they're going to play Saudi. It'll probably be Australia versus Saudi here. But I, I haven't been looking at the chat. I'm sorry, guys. Do you think we have a chance to win the Asia Cup as the other teams like Japan and South Korea have kind of underperformed? I mean, we've kind of underperformed so far, too. Where's a nice place for you to stay? It depends on what you want to do. I'm assuming if you go to a... Are you going to go to a Sounders game? I would say maybe like Kirkland or Redmond. I would say those. Because then you're kind of, I mean, I don't go to downtown Seattle. I think it's kind of a dump, but. Wait, Palestine will play Australia if they come third? Oh, no. So I'm saying the other side of the bracket, uh, Sofa. Uh, what are you saying, Parsa? Oh, you Sofa score. That's better, dude. Is it? Okay, I guess let's listen to what Parsa said. Sofa score. I've never used Sofa Score. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, Asian Cup. Sofa Score doesn't even have this whole like knockout round prediction thing, so it's not better in this aspect. Obviously, we can see the groups live with Sofa Score, so I'll do that here. So, okay, here are the groups. So, Qatar's obviously already finished first. Done and done. Australia first. Uzbekistan second. Things are looking a little nippy. It's just gold differential saving UAE at this point from first to third. I mean, second to third. Iraq's guaranteed first. Japan is basically just playing for pride. No offense in the game. In their last game against Indonesia. I mean, Indonesia's playing for a second place spot. They are. 
if they could somehow upset Japan, but I don't think that'll happen. Uh, Jordan, I mean, it's all up for grabs in the last one. You know South Korea is going to be beating Malaysia, so they're going to get seven points. Could Jordan win against Bahrain, who are as well are going to be fighting for points? I think that game's going to end in a draw. So I think South Korea is going to finish first, which would mean Japan would play South Korea in the round of 16, which is such a bummer, but it's whatever. Yeah, Saudi Arabia is going to basically finish them first. They played, uh, maybe not. It's interesting for Oman. They obviously play Kyrgyzstan, so they'll most likely get four points. But this game's going to be interesting, I'll say. This game will be interesting. Thailand versus Saudi Arabia, because Thailand obviously have played decently well so far in this tournament. So we'll see. It's quite interesting, actually. Uh, yeah, but we had no expectation to win the Asian Cup while Japan and South Korea have a lot. Yes, that's true. I don't think we have no expectation to win the Asia Cup. Like, I think there's some standard for Iran to do well in this tournament. Do you think Iraq is better than Australia? That's a good question. Maybe. I think Iraq, if they played them, it depends. Like, in a group stage scenario, I'd back Australia, but in a knockout round setting i'd back iraq because wasn't that the final in the 2006 one that iraq won was playing australia wow you're going really big balls you'd prefer iran to play japan to get revenge yeah okay i'll ask chat would you prefer iran to play iraq in the quarters or japan slash korea in the quarters you guys let me know you guys tell me 365 score is the better one. I'm not doing this. We're done. We're going back to Wiki. We're going back to what I think is best. This is my stream. Iran is uh, winning it all because when you think about Japan and Korea have fallen off and mainly do come on. We can't say that we haven't fallen off either, though. Yeah, you can't assume. You're right. You know what they say about when you assume it makes an ass out of you and me. If we have this lineup against Syria, we can easily beat Syria. Okay, does anyone have any insight on Syria? I'm a little worried about playing them. I actually think they're quite decent. You guys give me your take. What do you think of our injury with our right back being basically out? You think? Dude, guys, don't do not do this. Like, I don't. I hope it's not a serious injury for Mohorami. I want Japan and South Korea to play Iran. That's crazy. The bracket is so, I know, bro. The bracket is so messed up. It is so, so messed up. Iraq is better. Wow. Okay, we're saying Iraq. Wow. Okay, no, Parsa said Korea. He would want Korea. The thing is, though, with Korea, let's go back to the, the bracket. One sec. The thing is with Korea is you can see that they're slipping from them. Like, there's the Jurgen Klinsmann factor. No, no, Parsa, this has to be a joke, right? No, 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 no. Who can confirm this? I don't always trust the chat, but I'm going to trust it here. No way, Iran. How can they tell so quickly? Nah, bruh. Not Moharami. Nah, that's so sad. No, sorry. No, no, I'm just reading. No, 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 no. No.
That's so annoying. Literally, Mohorami's Dinamo kit that I ordered from was going to arrive tomorrow. Tomorrow. Man, this sucks. This blows, bro. Man. Nah. Golbeth, oh man, sadly looks like an ACL tear. Physio, Ali Reza Shabab moving his knee showed there was a lot of movement, which is not a good sign. Hope he's back soon. Man, that's fucking eight. What's Golbezant saying in this tournament? Bruh. Man, do a huge blow. Rezan isn't anywhere close. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, bro. I'm so ticked off. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not reading the chat because I'm just annoyed. Yeah, I, I hope. I don't think Arya will be wrong, though. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. Uh, okay, well, second half's about to start, so let's get back to the thing. God damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oops, sorry guys. Here we go. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Maybe when you finish that. What are you doing, you guys? So good this season. He's been so good. Uh, any updates on the Palestine game? I think it's still 1-0 Palestine. The second half probably just started. I'll check on Sofa score since you guys are such a big fan of it. It's still 1-0 Palestine. Second half just started for them. Hello, Ali Reza. God damn it. We'll never see my experiment of Mohorami and Rezaion as our two outside backs, one on the left and one on the right. I'll never see it. It was a pipe dream, guys. A pipe dream. Yeah, now we have a prom at right back. Which is, no, I think we have a Yusefi or whatever his name is. I think he's a right back. If someone could fact check me. Honestly, I don't want us to play Hodge Safi in any outside back position. Definitely not right back for sure, but. Is that Israel or UA? Oh, Israel or Palestine? Iran beating UAE 1 0. Yeah, I know. Bro, <laughs> Iran going to the final. I wish. It's going to be crazy scenes if it happens. Let's play three in the back. Yeah, we did that against England, and we got absolutely buttercream, so I don't know. That means uh, that means Cheshmi might be one of the center backs. I don't want to see that shit again. I don't want to see Cheshmi playing for this team. Oh, shit, mistake. What is going to happen? ID? Pass? That was a shit shot by Mahdi. I'm sorry. That was an awful shot. IAD, not bad, not bad. Dude, I also didn't realize how short IAD was. Dude, wow, he has a lot of dip on that shot. It's just not on target. I don't know, man. I think if we had like an Antonio Conte as our manager playing five in the back, I'd say let's run it. But it's Galanoi, so I don't trust it. If it doesn't work under Kirosh, it's not going to work under Galanoi. I know. I mean, I would want to see Iran win this whole tournament, but we're also dropping like flies. We've had so many injuries this tournament. Oof, that's a bit of a bad tackle.
Guys, let's just uh, let's get Jose Mourinho to win us this Asian Cup. He's a free agent right now. Yeah, absolute crazy scenes. Iran sack Kalinoi after advancing through group stage in a point. Jose Mourinho. Bro, we were lucky it was Hong Kong. We made so many mistakes and even chess me. We we're lucky it was Hong Kong. If it's, yeah, I know. I was I said that in the review as well. The injuries, I mean, I don't think we do the injuries part uh, on purpose. But yeah, just clean up the mistakes. And luckily this game there was no mistakes. I'm surprised UAE hasn't taken it to Iran as much as I thought they would. As I say that, they're on the counter. I might be the ultimate jinx, dude. No, seriously, why do we not use the Mohorami and Rami combo instead of Hudge Safi? <laughs> I know. I don't know either. I don't get it. Well, we're obviously never going to fucking see that for at least another year. So annoying. Ah, uh, so annoying. Yeah, that's a lot. I mean, we we didn't even call up Hasbavi. And Mohorami's hurt. What are you talking about, bro? Dang, the commentators are saying Tajikistan would be a tough opponent. If uh, Who would you guys rather play, Tajikistan or Syria? You guys tell me. As Oh, my God. That was almost a cracking goal. It was barely wide. Jesus Christ. Damn, that was close, guys. That would have been nice if he scored that. I know, as Moon. Uh, I would have liked to have seen him score a banger, but I guess it wasn't meant to be. Looks like the sun's starting to rise here, guys. We're finally getting some daylight. Daybreak. Oh. Uh, they're asking for a handball, even though my guy's on the ground holding his nuts. He just took a... All right, well, rip whoever that was. He ain't having kids. It'd be ironic if it was Kanani. It... it oh, wait. Oh, it's Khaliazada. All right, guys. Rip out of Khaliazada and his future kids. He's not having any. Yeah. Oh, uh, it didn't even hit his nuts. Come on. It just hit his side. Man, why is he acting like he got hit in the nuts? Yeah, the Asmoon shot, eh, it was actually not as close as I thought. I know part of me is maybe thinking that they kind of folded this game because. Okay, let's keep it 100. Do you think Syria is a better opponent or Tajikistan? I want your guys' takes. Yeah, I don't get it either. There's so many Iraqis in the stands. It's freaking ridiculous. There's so many. Syria would be easier. Some are saying Tajikistan. Some are playing, saying Syria.
Nice, glad I mean, definitely just got his jersey pulled. It's cool. Nice, as a Talahi. Good hustle, bro. Yes, as a Talahi. And that should be a yellow. I watched them against India. Oh, Syria. Syria's only win was against India, wasn't it? But this Syria tie. Sorry. Didn't Syria tie Uzbekistan? I think that was the one game I watched of them. I didn't even think about that. Sorry, I was messaging the boys, guys. Hey, by the way, everybody that's in the stream, I just want to say thank you guys so much for being a part of these. You know, if you were in game one, obviously in spirit, some people might rewatch this, but that we're here for game one against Palestine to game three now, and then we'll still be here for the latter stage of the tournament. I really do appreciate it. I enjoy these streams a lot. Um yeah, I don't know. I got a little emotional there, but I really appreciate you guys. This is this is always a lot of fun because I always watch Iran games by myself. So as soon as I found out, like, oh, there's watch alongs. That's the thing you can do on YouTube. Uh, I started doing it for Iran games because no one else was doing it. I was like, well, I watch Iran's matches anyway. So yeah, I appreciate you guys for doing that and being a part of this and being a part of my channel. And I love talking about Iran because there's no one else that really talks about it. So. So Palestine scored. So what does that mean now for the group? Let me go on sofa score one minute. Okay, group C. So now that means that's that still means uh Palestine are in third. They'd still need uh they would still need Iran to get a second. That's the thing. That's what I'm saying. I think Syria is kind of good. That's what I'm a little worried about. It's true. Okay, let's say uh, UAE scores two goals, like and it ends 2-1 UAE. Does Iran slip all the way to second? Yeah, they would. That's the worst case scenario for Palestine, huh? But if Iran scores second, they do a solid for Palestine. And Palestine would be in uh, second place. But, bro, bro, that round of 16 game is going to be Tajikistan. Okay, that definitely hits his hand, but whatever. We'll put up Magnus's post. Oh, shoot. Uh, Danny said, my dad does not accept Galanoi at all. It took him two games to realize his Esterlal players don't fit the team. Not starting Godos from Mohepi and Cheshmi. Yeah, seriously, bro. I mean, I'd never rated Galanoi. I thought he was a dumb appointment from the get-go. Oh, whoa, that was a really good attempt by UAE. Wasn't on target. I think Baramont would have had it, but that thing was moving. Jesus, the swaz on that shot. When you look at it from that angle, holy smokes. That was a good attempt from UAE.
Oh, shit. Great tackle by Khali Azadeh. Great tackle by Khali Azadeh. That might have just saved us. Oh, that was close. Yeah, Jesus. Count on E actually was a good tackle there. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely not a foul for sure. Not a foul. Oh, shit. It might be a pen. Oh, no. Count on me, you absolute dumpster diver, dumpster diver. Oh, no. It's going to be a pen. It's going to be a penalty. This is why I don't rate count on me. He doesn't get any of the ball. He doesn't get any of the ball. He just destroys the def He does get a little bit of the ball, though, when you see it from that replay. Wow, they're actually going to check for a pen. Oh, my God, we're bringing on Omid Ebrahimi. Dude, come on, bro. We're really going to have to shithouse again another 1-0 no win over UAE. <sighs> it's painful. He's reviewing it. He's reviewing it. I'm watching the game on Paramount+. Plus. He's reviewing it. Yep, there you go. Count on E just sold us the game. His irrational decision-making. I, I think it's soft. But, ah, oh shit, yeah, he's going to give it. All right, Baron Vaughn, we need your moments of brilliance here. He's going to give the pen. Ah, he's going to give the pen, guys. Yeah, it looks like that's a GG's in regards to... That's going to be our second goal conceded. It's going to be given. Palestine are up 3-0 now? Wow. I mean, if we're not going to win this game, we might as well finish in second. All right, let's see what the ref's given. Penalty, not penalty. Penalty. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And it's going to be a yellow card for Kanani. Nice, Mr. Rational himself. I told you guys, hot-headed, doesn't think with his head. Goes balls to the wall. A rational challenge. Oh, good. Count on me, we'll miss the next match. Good. I will actually have competent center backs. God, this guy's a fucking idiot. Whatever. I mean, yeah, it's a pen, guys. I mean, now that I see it at that replay, I think it is a pen. Count on me, the absolute jokester. God damn it. Okay, let's see if Baron Vaughn can do something about it. Why are we arguing, guys? It's obviously a pen. I've said... you Okay, for everyone that has watched my videos, I've said a thousand times why I don't rate Kanani. Because he's, he's big-headed, he has an ego, he plays irrationally, and here you go. It's going to cost us in a game that shouldn't have costed us. But... He's going to be kissing Baron Vaughn's toes if he saves his penalty, but we'll see. Yeah, good. Count on he's going to miss the next match. The guy's absolute wiped hard. All right, Baron Vaughn, let's see what you can do. Come on. Baron Vaughn. Baron Vaughn. Baron Vaughn. Last time saved a pen against Oman in the previous Asia Cup. So let's see if he can score. He can make another save in this tournament. Get in! 
Baron Vaughn to the rescue. Ali Reza, Baron Vaughn, get in there. Get in there. Count on E, start kissing Baron Vaughn's toes. Start kissing his toes. Kiss him. Kiss his toes. Kiss his toes. Baron Vaughn to the rescue. He said, hello, folks. You guys are all saying I shouldn't be the first choice goalkeeper, but this is why I should be the first choice goalkeeper. Get in there, lads. Get in there. Baron Vaughn to the rescue. Get in there. Oh, another dono. Two bucks. Yes, get in there, lads. Get in there. Pew, pew, pew. Baron Vaughn to the rescue. Good stuff. I'm not obviously over the moon about it, but I'm really happy for Baron Vaughn. Good stuff. I appreciate the donation too, by the way. Okay, mistake. As Moon. Nice. Mehdi! Sardar to Mehdi 2-0, 2! Mehdi Taremi has, has, has awoken in the Asian Cup. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, team. Get in there, lads. Get in there. From say, dude, what a sequence. From missed penalty to goal. This game's had it all so far. Jesus Christ. And then this is a huge goal for Palestine. Holy crap. Palestine in second place. What a finish from Mehdi. What a finish. Asmunda Mehdi. Boom, basso. Good finish. Mehdi has his confidence back. There you go. That's what we like to see. You get him a third. Let's get Mehdi a hat trick. Let's get him up there in that leading goal scorer. Oh, I love the celebration too. Mehdi Taremi. He's doing his little suiting. There you go. From no goals in the first two games to two against UAE. Good stuff, man. Asmoon to make the triple sub. Mohebi, John Bashk, and Ebrahimi. At least, you know, one thing I'll, I will say about uh, Galanoi, at least he makes subs at the right time. I'll give him that much. Yeah, seriously, this has by far been the most entertaining game so far for Iran. This game has been crazy so far. This game has been crazy so far. I know, so I'm saying, man. Get Mehdi that third. Got, hey, by the way, to Bari, uh, Badria, thank you for the second donation, too. Who's going to be the fourth dono of the stream? For the second goal, a fourth dono? Not a bad show. I know, that's the crazy part. Went from possibly 1-1 to 2-0. That's crazy. Asmoon? Third. Sardar Asmun with the third. All right, that's guys' game. That's wraps, baby. Oh, but it's offsides. Never mind. Damn, well, it was fun while it lasted. He's super far offsides. Oh, my God. He's so far offsides. Oh, man. Oh no. You donated, but the goal didn't count. No. I feel so bad. <laughs> the third goal didn't count. It was offsides. Who, John Bash? Yeah, I know. I saw John Bash came on. Let's get John Bash a goal. I would love that. Okay, if John Bash scores, we all have to donate. How's that? If John Bash scores, we all have to donate for me. Dang, I thought that was really going to be a third goal. Oh, geez, that's a lot of rolls there. A lot of diving rolls there. Yeah, I think Pal don't Palestine go second now with this result? Yeah, they do. Palestine in second. UAE in third.
That's crazy. Huge for Palestine. That's crazy. This game has been absolutely nuts, bro. Nuts. Dude, what a match. What a match. Sorry, guys. I'm working on this tweet. Give me a second. I want to tweet this out. Explode. What a match. Uh, UAE. We're... A penalty to possibly make it 1-1. One, one. Then it was saved. It was saved. Then went on to score their second. To, to make it 2-0. And now, and with that goal, Pal Palestine are in second place. To have to earn a I know, that's what I'm saying. UAE was given a penalty to pause to make it 1-1, but it was saved. Then Iran went on to score their second uh, to make it 2-0 with that goal. Uh, Palest uh, with that goal, and I'll do period. Palestine. All right, sorry guys. That was a quick intermission. I apologize. Yeah, big shout out. Yeah, I had to tweet it. I had to show some love to my Palestinians. You know, big shout out to them, guys. Go show that uh, tweet some love. By the way, my Twitter link is in the description here. I'll share the tab quickly. Go show this tweet some love, and follow me on Twitter if you're not already. Go show this tweet some love. But let's get back to our normally scheduled program. I don't think we're going to concede. If UAE ain't going to be scoring penalties, they ain't going to be scoring the rest of this game. Dude, I rate Baron Vaughn so hard right now, it's not healthy. I mean, I'm still not going to change what I said, but this was a big confidence booster, I bet, for Baron Vaughn. That was some OG, like, vintage 2018 World Cup slash 2019 Asian Cup Baron Vaughn there. Oh, that should have been a third goal. Was that Mehdi? Do you think I could? I mean, I don't have any connections with uh, Stefan Fry. That's the biggest problem. I don't have any connections with him. Uh, corner. I could try. I don't know how I'd reach out to him, but I could try. I did a little sh like YouTube short with him and Stefan Cleveland once. Uh, I like, uh, Martinez is shit house. I think Martinez is probably a little bit better at saving penalties than Baron Vaughn. Yeah, that should have been a third. Baron Vaughn to Madrid, bro. He can't even make it at Antwerp.
No, nah, I'm not scared of UAE. I wouldn't be scared. I would not worry. Iranians and Belgian league. Well, except for, uh, I mean, I think Hussein Zadeh and Goli Zadeh were both good. I mean, Goli Zadeh just got scammed in his contract and whatnot. And then Hussein Zadeh decided to be a little bit of a baby and go back to Iran. Dude, one sounder you could bring back for the season in their prime, uh, Oba. I would take Oba any day of the week. Dude, my friends who support UAE are so angry right now. I mean, they still advance. It's not like UAE are like out, out. Obviously, who do they play now, though? Who does UAE play now? Uh, So we're in Group C. Oh, they most likely play Qatar. I mean, that's not that bad. I mean, obviously, Tajikistan was an a lot easier opponent, but now they would most likely play Qatar. Oh, no, Australia. Is it Australia? Oh, it's either Australia or Qatar, but I guess you guys are thinking, I think it most likely will be Australia. Oh, Mohebi. Oh, that should have been a goal for Asmu. I mean, that definitely smacks his hand. Could be a hat trick for him. And it wasn't, oh, he's reviewing it. Oh, <laughs> Are you going to get that penalty? Parami? I can't see it from that. That was a bad replay. No, it definitely doesn't hit his hand. Okay, damn it. Yeah, that's definitely not a penalty. Upsetting. Oh, well. I want Mehdi to get a Hattie, bro. Mehdi get a Hattie or Jahambash the score, then the whole chat has to donate. I'm not going to lie, though, with that chance, that was like the possible handball. Mohibi should have done a little bit better there. I think he might have should have just taken it for himself, honestly. I, I mean, he had so many. Uh, uh, do all YouTubers overrate Japan? Trust me, my friend. Uh, trust me, friends' results are frauds. What do you mean? I don't think anyone overrates Japan. I think I'm the only YouTuber that said that, actually. I think most of them are favoring Japan. I mean, they're the most spoken about nation for this tournament. Ev like, everyone's talking about them. Like, that they should easily win and stuff, which it's fair, it's granted, but, like, that's not how the Asian Cup works. Yeah, friendly results. Yeah, and everything they did at the World Cup, even though they lost to Costa Rica, which was very questionable in my eyes, but... No, okay, Japan isn't overrated, I think they're just being overly hyped in this tournament. Because, like, when was the last time Japan won this? If anyone can check that. I think they won it early 2000s, maybe. But not even that. So it's like to say that they'll be the favorites. It's like, yeah, Qatar won it last year. And you guys see how shit Qatar is. Like, it's just not how the Asian Cup works, you know? You don't have to be the best Asian team to win the Asian Cup. 
No, 2019 was Qatar. They made it to the final, but they didn't win it. Oh, shit. This guy's die. Oh, that was a dive. Oh, he cramp. He's cramping. Yeah, dude, my guy diced our defense there. Holy, the nut. Oh, my God, Mohe B. I mean, he definitely doesn't get clipped. I think he just cramps. I think that's the problem. Yeah, you can tell he just cramps. Damn, that UAE player that just cramped there, apparently Scottish mother, UAE father. That's crazy combo. Part Middle Eastern, part European, and the Scottish European is what we're saying? That's crazy. Oh. I know, Japan is like, because they're like the epitome of like Asian football, which is so annoying in my eyes. Because there's like, I think... I think Qatar and Saudi should get some praise for... thing is, everyone shits on what Saudi Arabia is doing, and I hate it. I hate it so much. Because how is that any different to what like the U.S. does with owning all the TV rights for uh, all the tournaments and stuff, like investing their money into that? All because Saudi Arabia are investing heavy money in trying to improve their league, the infra infrastructure, excuse me. I don't see the problem with that. They're just like, it's it's annoying to me. That is annoying to me personally. But I don't know. I don't know what your guys' take is. Iran did great in the World Cup, but sadly my country didn't even qualify. Yeah. Hajj Safi. Uh... Mohibi. Nice. I still think he's poo, but shout out to him. He got a goal. 3-0. What's up with the crying stuff? Why are they all celebrating like that? Hmm. Who had the original volley when it goes off the crossbar? Oh, there's a fight that's broken out. Yeah, there is. Damn, UAE and Iran are going at it. That's crazy. Shout out again. Another dono, baby. You guys are killing with the donations. Yeah, he's on sides. Who hits the crossbar, though? Who is that? Is that Salmon? Oh, no, it was Jah. Oh, my God. It was Jahan Bash who hits the crossbar. Man, I would have wanted to see Jahan Bash score. Dude, the goalkeeper jumping over the ball. Yeah, UAE kind of been trashed this game. I mean, they had a chance to salvage it. What are they checking the goal for? Where's their VAR check? I mean, Mehdi could still get a hat trick. It's not like it's not on the table. But Jao Mash almost scored. He almost scored. Oh, man. Jao Mash, I wanted to see him score a goal. Fuck. Why did it have to go off the crossbar? Couldn't have gone off the crossbar and in? What are they checking? What are we checking? What is going on? Why? That's funny. Me and Galinoi just had the same exact reaction. What are we checking? Oh my god. Sh 
surely he doesn't disallow this goal. Surely he doesn't disallow this goal. No, he says no. It's going to happen. Goal's good. That's dumb. That's dumb. I mean, that should have just counted that goal. That's, I'm sorry, that's ridiculous. That goal should have counted. That's so horseshit. That's so horseshit, ref. That's such horseshit, ref. Fucking horseshit. Fuck you, ref. I don't care about whatever you gain, deserve to gain. That's horseshit. That should have been 3 0. Whatever. So even if Jalen Bash scored, it wouldn't have even counted. God damn it, bro. As Moon's through. What is going on? How has he not scored there? Uh, he might have been offsides anyway. Wow, that was a really bad finish. Whoa! Bardia, another donut? Guys, are you going to really let Bardia... do? Bardia, you've like donated two, four, six, eight. That's ten bucks, bro. That's crazy. Dude, shout out to you, man. If they want an Arab country win, why are they playing? It's so true. This game is madness. No, I don't think it's Mogalu. I think that's Asadi's coming on. Because I think Mogalu's done. He had his tournament against Hong Kong. He missed three sitters. He's done. is coming on for Asmu. Why, though? Man. If Asmoon, dude, that was a bad miss. That should have been 3 0. That should have been 4 0, technically, there. Oh, well. Well, I guess we're going to just take the 2 0, guys. I think that's it, is what it is. All right, come on. Let's get the third. We're not getting the oh. What the fuck was that? What is Reza Asadi doing there? All he had to do was just pass that to Mehdi and he would have just had a hat trick. But he just shot it for a throw in. What the fuck was that? Iran should easily be winning this game like 4-0 right now. Obviously, one of the goals got chopped off for no reason. Okay, Carlos Kirosh was not controversial. Carlos Kirosh is arguably Iran's greatest ever coach. I don't I do not accept Carlos Kirosh slander here. That is my number one rule. God, Asai D, bro. You could have just squared that to make D, and that would have been 3 0. Well, whatever. I guess you can't do the simple things. That's why you play in the Iranian league. What was that pass by Kanoni? Jesus Christ, my guy's dropped another stinker.
Count on is trash, Amir. I agree. Straight gulag. Why was Mohibi? Apparently he fouled a UAE player in the play leading up to it. Which is dumb, because he definitely didn't. He definitely did not. But, you know, it's whatever. 2-0, 3-0. I guess we don't want to be given the three goals. Oh, it was an okay cross. Asadi should have made a hard run to the near post. Yeah, I think from last time I checked, Palestine game is still 3 0. <sighs> I'm excited to eat breakfast after this game. I'm starving. 13 minutes of added time? What the fuck? Thirteen minutes is a madness. Who? I heard Tottenham has beef with who? I know. I heard that too, Matt. I heard the same thing. What's the beef thing? What are we talking about here? Yeah, thirteen minutes is a madness. Madness. Was he? They're both from the same little city. They both grew up in the same city. I do not know. Are you also watching on... No, I'm watching on Paramount Plus. And Danny, that is correct. It's been a good game, though. We can't deny. Even though Iran got robbed of that third goal, it's been a really good game, nonetheless. But we should have won, like, 4-0, though. Dang, our performance against Palestine might have been as more underrated than I thought. For how well Palestine played after our game. Because they ended up tying against UAE. And then as well, they destroyed Hong Kong. Which we couldn't even do that. Nah, it's not another penalty. Get up. Okay, good save. Baron Vaughn right at him. but Yeah, it was an incredibly harsh disallowed goal. Ooh, Matey almost getting that third. Get him that Hattie, baby. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. UAE got a goal. Fuck. He destroyed our defense like butter there. Shit. All right, so these last 10 minutes is going to be nippy. It's going to be a nippy end to that game. I mean, he's definitely not offsides. Jesus Christ, he shredded our defense there. Can on he not make, putting a foot in there? Mm, I think Baramont could do a little bit better there. It's not even just that. With that goal, that means as well Palestine don't go in second. They're now in third. Yeah, count on E just... That was bad, guys. Honestly, 
I mean, it's just dumb. Counting doesn't do anything, bro. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Thank God he's suspended for the next game. Fuck him, man. He's such a shit center back. Yeah, dude. He's playing like an absolute dillweed. Okay, let's just get a third or calm the play down. Oh, man. The thing is that that disallowed goal by Mohebi and now the Asmoon miss look kind of dumb. Like, they look stupid now. Because we easily could have made it 3-4-0. But Asmoon misses. Mohebi's goal, yeah, obviously that's not our fault. But, like, Asmoon did have a chance minutes later to make it three, but he decided to pull it. Come, It wasn't even saved. It was, he pulled it wide. No, we do have a better center back. His name is Husbavi, but, uh, but we're not going to play him. We're not going to call him up at all. Even Samon, Samon Fallo, like I like him a lot too. I think it would be bad to just thrust him into this tournament, but if it was like friendlies and stuff, I would start him over Kanani. I would like to see Iran get a third, though. That means we only kept one clean sheet, and that was against Hong Kong. That annoys me. I was really hoping for us to keep a clean sheet in this game. Uh, we're just passing the ball around with no meaning or purpose. You love to see it. You he putting no pressure on us. Uh, such a dry end to this game. How many minutes left? About like five. Five and a half, six. Dude, I mean, we're not parking the bus. We're just not doing anything. I mean, we could score a third. We are driving the bus, but slowly. Yeah, really slowly. Holy shit. Uh, the UAE fans have now entered the chat. Where have you guys been the whole game? Been waiting for you guys this whole time. Uh, uh. Ah, my back. Welcome to the UAE fans. By the way, guys, before the game wraps up, if you haven't already, let's hit the like button. Let's hit the like button on this video. If you haven't already, you get, some of you might have. Some of you might be absolute legends where you've hit the like button, but some of you might not have. We're at 18 likes. Can we get this to 30 likes before the stream ends? 3 0, 30. Last time we hit over 40. There's 30 of you in here, so we could get over 40 again. Guys, let's get over 40 likes on this before the stream ends. Dude, what is going on with these UAE fans? You guys are losing. What are you guys talking about? You guys you guys are losing the game. You guys got smacked in this game. Like, you guys should have lost 4-0 if it wasn't for the ref.
what is going on with these UAE fans? That they're they're acting like they just won the match. They're acting like they just topped the group. Okay, but guys, let's focus on the task at hand. Let's get this to over 40 likes. Everybody that's watching, just click the like button right now before we forget. Even you UAE fans. If you guys think you're the best team, you should like this video then. I mean, yeah, I mean, good for the UAE fans. Like, you guys are in the round of 16. It's not like there's any doubt in that, but you guys almost choked second place. Oh, shit. Holy shit. What the? Inshallah, UAE win. What are you talking about, UAE win? There's only like three minutes left in the game. You have to score three goals in two minutes. The thing is, UAE didn't even beat pa Danny. UAE didn't even beat Palestine. They didn't even win that game. I know, these UAA fans trolling. They're big time trolling. But yeah, guys, let's get to 40 likes on the stream. 4-0. Ow, my eye. Right now we're at almost 30. Can we get to 40? Well, it's only 12. There's like 30 of you in here. So half of you just have to like at this point if you haven't already. Like the vid. Like it up. Dude, I don't I don't like the result either. Let's be honest. I don't either. It should have been a nice, clean win. But for the fact we only won two to one is kind of embarrassing. Damn, dude, Palestine waxed Hong Kong 3-0. Good for them. With that win, I mean, that gets them at least a third-place spot to the knockout rounds. I mean, yeah, there's a possible hope. There's only, like, two minutes left in this game. Tyler Noe is just chirping it up with the, the, the referee, the sideline referee. It's kind of weird, but... All right, one more minute. Guys, we have one more minute to hit 40 likes. That's our mission. One more minute before the game ends to hit 40 likes. Let's do that. Free kick for UAE in the end. Dude, we can't play like this against... Yeah, I know. Uh, we won't face South uh, Saudi Arabia or Australia. They're on the other side of the bracket. And that's game. Game over! Iran beat UAE 2-1. Two, two, nice. Thirteen minutes out of time was an absolute madness by the referee. Guys, we haven't even hit thirty likes on the video. Yep, GG's to the UAE people. <laughs> GG's, GG's, GG's. It's okay, it's whatever. Were we really the only team with nine points?
No, didn't no Qatar also got nine points too, I'm pretty sure. I believe we can look at the, hey guys, do you guys want to look at the bracket right now? Let's do that right now. So let's look. I'm gonna refresh. I think Wiki should hopefully update. Okay, so let's share this tab. Let's talk about it. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so with how things stand, so Iran will play against Syria on July 31st. Dang, that's crazy. So we'll play Syria on the 31st. I think I have a doctor's appointment that day. So hopefully it does not, it's not at the same time. So we play against Syria. UAE plays Tajikistan. And then uh, Palestine will either play Australia or Qatar. I just don't know if Syria is a good opponent for Iran. That's the only thing that worries me. That's what I'm saying. I think Syria is kind of tough. I know they haven't been ideal. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, guys, that's going to be uh, the end of the stream. I appreciate all of you that stuck around. I'm going to be working on my uh, review for this match. So I'm going to go eat breakfast because I haven't eaten breakfast yet. And then I'm going to record that for you all and upload that ASAP, so give you guys my review. As well, don't forget, we'll be live for the match against Syria, so make sure to be there for that game. And yeah, and for the latter stages of the tournament, as now we're kicking off to the knockout round. So yeah, boys and girls, make sure to smash the like button on this video if you haven't already. Let's get over 40 likes. Let's hit over 40 likes on this stream for me. And then yeah, boys and girls, uh, the review will be out in like a couple of hours, so make sure you have notifications on if you are subscribed, so then you're like the first ones to watch the review as soon as it's dropped. So yeah, boys and girls, I hope you all have a lovely day.